Well, directors are the shepherds of story. They create and execute vision. They carry the weight on their shoulders as the captain of the ship. If the film turns out great, they receive all the glory. But if the film is trash, it's the producer's fault. <laughs> Thankfully, with this year's Director Award honoree, that's never a problem because he keeps killing it again and again. He shows his dedication to each project he chooses, starting with Short Term 12, which I remember watching in the theater years ago and loved. Please welcome to the stage, Destin Daniel Cretton. Um, uh, no thanks to Sherry Cola for that drinking game. Um, <laughs> asking if I had a crush on my wife who was sitting at my table. Um, uh, I, I did not get, in, get into directing to stand on stages and speak into microphones. I, I, um, I, I got into directing because I was I was addicted somehow to the, the collaborative art form of, of storytelling that I could not do by myself. Um, to me, to me the, the thing that, that really draws me back to each new, new story, even though they scare me to death, if you ask my wife or my sister, anytime I'm in pre-production, I feel like I want to die because I am so afraid of failure and um, making people disappointed. And when it came to Shang-Chi, I, I had all of your faces on my mind. Um, and I pictured myself standing on this stage many times and all of you throwing food at me. <laughs> so to be standing on this stage accepting an award feels like a dream. Um, I, it, it, it's always weird accepting an award as a director because I, and this isn't me being being uh, Asian and humble, um, I, I, I really, truly do not see what I do um, in, in the context of an individual. Um, it, it, in the course of my career, it's, it was weird trying, I've been processing tonight, because tonight has been very strange for me. Um, I don't know why I felt weird tonight. Um, and I, I grew up in Hawaii, so I'm, I'm, I'm used to, thank you Hawaiians, um, but I'm used to being in, I'm used to being in big, big rooms full of Asians. Uh, that, that was, that's where I feel the most comfortable. And I, I, I couldn't quite understand why tonight felt weird. Um, what, what I've come to understand is that I, I do not, I, it's weird to be in a room full of Asians who are dedicated to creativity. Um, and that has not been something that has been a norm for me. Um, my, my grandma, she, she unfortunately passed away this year. She was the matriarch of our family. She was the the reason that I make movies, she gave me my first VHS camera when I was uh, 12 years old. And when she was a nurse, she was a nurse her entire life, um, she always had this hidden dream to be a, a costume designer, to be a, 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 a fashion designer. And the way that that dream came out was through making beautiful, intricate, costumes for my mom's dolls when she was, when she was a kid, um, for their prom dresses. And 
my, my grandma continued as a nurse for in, her entire life. When she was retired, um, she, she joined a, a, a club, the Maui Okinawan Kenjin Kai Club, uh, where they, it was senior citizens who are all Okinawan, who dedicated their, their time to being creative. Uh, it, it was when I really saw my grandma's inner passion blossom. Um, she made this kimono that, that I'm wearing. Uh, I, I was, uh, when, when I was editing Shang-Chi, um, Kevin Feige and the team at, at Marvel were gracious enough because of COVID and everything to, to let me go in because my, my grandma was not in, in the best of health um, to go in and edit the movie out of the old bedroom that I grew up in at my grandma's house. We like piped in really good internet into my grandma's like uh, sugarcane plantation house that um, and, and I was editing there, and she got to see glimpses of this movie, but she didn't get to see the whole thing. Um, all, all, I'm trying, <laughs> one of the, just so you know, one, one of the things of, one of the, the, the creative processes of Marvel is to write your movie as you're directing it, so I'm writing this speech as I am speaking. <laughs> um, so I apologize for the uh, delays. Um, I'm trying to wrap it up. Um, the, to, to try to bring it, bring it back around, um, my, my grandma did not have the privilege that I have. She did not have the, the privilege to be surrounded by a group of like-minded people who are of, of a similar cultural background, um, who, who have the privilege to dedicate their lives to things that are not, um, you know, just to get by. And, and I feel so so honored and thankful to be in this room, to be surrounded by people who I can relate to on the, the cultural backgrounds that, that we grew up in, and, and to also relate to you on a, on a creative level. Um, and I, I just feel so honored to be standing on this stage, and I wish my grandma could see this. <laughs>